Antimony is not famous. It doesn't glow. It doesn't explode. But this element forced physicists to abandon a century-old picture of matter. For most of history, solids fit neatly into boxes, conductors, semiconductors, or insulators. Antimony refused. In its interior, electrons move sluggishly, almost trapped. But on its surface, something extraordinary happens. Electrons form topological surface states, quantum pathways that cannot scatter backward, even around defects or disorder. These surface electrons are protected by topology, not chemistry. Damage the crystal. The surface still conducts. Antimony was one of the first real materials where physicists saw band inversion caused by strong spin-orbit coupling. Here, an electron's spin becomes locked to its direction of motion, a relativistic effect inside a solid. This shattered the idea that electronic behavior depends only on atomic bonding. Instead, global quantum geometry began to matter. This insight directly led to the discovery of topological insulators and the modern field of quantum materials. Antimony crystallizes in a rhombohedral lattice, distorted by stereochemically active lone electron pairs. These lone pairs push atoms apart. The result? Antimony expands when it freezes, conducts heat poorly, and converts temperature differences into electrical voltage with unusual efficiency. That makes it essential in thermoelectric generators, from spacecraft to deep space probes. But antimony is not only strange, it is dangerous. In biological systems, antimony ions imitate essential metals. They bind tightly to sulfur-containing groups in enzymes inside the mitochondria. This blocks pyruvate dehydrogenase and disrupts the electron transport chain. ATP production collapses. Cells don't die violently, they run out of energy and shut down from the inside, an element that conducts only on its surface, that forced physics beyond classical band theory, and that poisons life by silencing metabolism. Antimony is not loud, but it is one of the most intellectually dangerous elements we have ever studied.